What's going on guys, Everything Doc here, bringing you my very first uh, Cinema 4D tutorial on compositing. So we're going to be creating this scene, and um, it's pretty cool. We got some nice uh, reflections, uh, some shadows, and uh, ambient occlusion. We even got some text to go on top, and you can see that the uh, cube is actually reflecting the text. So uh, yeah, it all looks pretty cool. Uh, let's get started. Uh, file, new. What just tab? Okay whatever. Alright, so now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new background. And I'm just going to load up my background image real quick. It's right on my desktop. And drop, drop it right onto the background. So, now you can see it's kind of smushed. So, um, I'm going to change it to the resolution that I shot the image in, which was 720p. So, it's 1280 by 720. Boom. So now the image is loaded and uh, everything looks pretty good. So now what we have to do is we have to line up the ground plane with our actual floor in the scene. And you can do this later, but I find it easier just to get it done right now. Uh, Alright, so just kind of something that looks pretty good. You know, zoom out a little, zoom in, something that looks right. Uh, all right, that looks pretty good. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, so now let's just create a camera. And the reason we're creating a camera is because we want this camera to stay in place so that we can go out of the camera view and uh, adjust things. And then we can just click this little box. It goes right back into our proper perspective. But I'm just noticing now it's a little bit off, so I'm just going to adjust this a little bit okay that looks good okay so now we don't want to move the camera because it's in a perfect spot hit cinema 4d uh, right click hit cinema 4d tags and uh, hit a protection and now we won't be able to move the camera at all um, so yeah now let's create a new plane and uh, I'm just gonna hit T and you can scale and I'm just gonna stretch it out a little bit here and rotate it and now you can see I'm not really worrying anything about I'm not worrying about the the uh, floor over here or these trees or I mean just because I don't have any objects over there uh, so just not gonna worry about it alright so now let's just start creating our objects uh, just bring in a cube make it a decent size I mean uh, this big looks pretty good. Create hypernerbs adjustment. I don't know exactly what it's called. Okay, and then just increase the segments. Get something to look pretty good. I think I had it at five in that one scene. Yeah, that looks good. All right, so I'll just drag this up onto the floor. I'm actually gonna shrink it down a little. And you go into your front view, and you can uh, just drag it up right onto this red line, and. Um, now it's sitting perfectly on our floor. So that looks, that looks pretty good. Just drag it over here a little bit. Okay, and now let's just create our sphere. <clears throat> and it looks like a fine size. We'll just go back into our front view, drag it up. And now, of course, we had some text in there. And I'll just write uh, tutorial. All right, and I'm just gonna change the font. Okay, and I'm just gonna drag it up on top here. I'm gonna scale it down a lot more. Okay, now I'm just gonna go back into our front. Make sure it's sitting perfectly on top of our cube. It's not really a cube, it's more of a rounded rectangle, but I'll just call it a cube. <laughs> okay, so now if we give this a render, nothing looks very good. We still have our plane in there, we don't have any shadows. Oh, yeah, shadows, we'll do those next. <laughs> Alright, so, just create a new light. Now, I'm not a master at creating shadows. I'm not very good at it, or not creating shadows. I'm not a master at lighting. Um, there's much more advanced ways to do it that I 
honestly don't really know how and I'd really like to learn but um, in this case it seems to work fine to do what I'm going to do here and that is just position your light where the sun where the light is coming from in your actual uh, background or scene and then just duplicate the light and drag it over here and then bring the second light that you don't want casting the shadows just bring the intensity down to maybe half oh voice crap <coughs> <coughs> alright and now uh, we're going to add a shadow and uh, what I would do normally is um, make sure that the shadow is the same color and uh, density as the shadows in the in the scene but that can get it can start to take a long time so I'm, I'm not gonna bother doing that but uh, feel free if, if you want to now I'm just gonna move this light I can tell it's a little the it's a little bit off the shadows are a little off so let's drag it right over here and that looks better okay so yeah, I, I want to just move these things. Move this to go right here. That looks good. Okay. So now we still have a ground plane there, and that's not good because we only want that to uh, receive the shadows. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to take your background material and drop it right onto the ground plane. And now uh, you can see it looks all messed up. Nothing really looks right about it. But uh, change projection from UVW mapping to frontal. Now, if we render this, it looks okay, but uh, the edges are dark and the whole thing is dark. So to fix that, just hit Cinema 4D tags, create a compositing tag, and just check compositing background. There we go. So now we have our shadows, we have um, our sphere, and uh, everything's positioned correctly, and uh, our ground plane is gone. So it looks like it starting, it start, it's getting there. It's getting there. Okay. Now, one way to um, enhance this is just to hit Effect, Ambient Occlusion. And then already, you can see that it starts to create a much more realistic um, shadow beneath it. Uh, and uh, then I always take it one step further and hit Global Illumination. But... I would normally keep these settings the same, but I don't want you guys to just be sitting here watching it render. So I'm just going to bring these down a little bit. See, it already takes a little while, but it looks pretty pretty good. But it's very boring. The sphere is just gray. Everything is gray and boring. So we're going to create some reflections. So to start this off, we're just going to create 100% reflective material and drop it right on the sphere. Now I'm just going to give this a render just to sh uh, I'm just going to turn off global illumination until the end and ambient occlusion. We give this a render we can see that it's not there's nothing that's reflecting off of this sphere. There's no real environment that the sphere is supposed to be reflecting. So to fix that we are going to load up an HDR image and what an HDR image is, is basically a 360 degree sh panoramic shot. Uh, it looks just like this. And I took this using Photosynth on my iPhone. And I definitely recommend the app. It's really helpful. It's just, it takes like two minutes to take the shot. You just basically take pictures from all sorts of different angles. And then it stitches them all together to create one big shot. So you can see it doesn't, yeah, you can see it doesn't do a perfect job because there's my uh, shadow sitting right there, but you know. No one will notice that. Okay. And don't load it up on reflection. I tend to do that a lot. Load it up on color. And delete specular. Or uncheck it. And now what we're going to do is create a new sky. Okay. So now you can see that if we give this a render, it is reflecting correctly, but the sky is not position like we don't really need to see it we only want it for the reflections so to do that just give it a compositing tag and turn off scene by camera and scene by GI 
and there we go. Now we got our reflections, um, and they're looking pretty good. So, uh, yeah, might as well take this one step further and give this cube and the text a little life. That looks good. Reflection, and crank it down a bit. About there. Drop that on there. And now, you can see, it's looking pretty good. And I hate the text. I hate the default color. So, let's drag that right onto the text. And now, I'm just going to turn on ambient occlusion and global illumination because we're pretty much finished. And it's going to render it out. And you can see it looks pretty realistic. Uh, you can tell that the... Um, the sphere is reflecting the environment as well as the 3D objects in the scene. And um, this is, the cube is reflecting off pretty well. And I think everything looks pretty nice. You got nice ambient occlusion. And so, um, yeah, I think that's about it for this tutorial. Um, hit me up if you have any questions. Give, give this video a like and subscribe as always. Uh, I'm hoping to make some more tutorials once I find out what to make them on. But uh, I would definitely take recommendations from you guys. Uh, just, uh, yeah, take it easy. See ya.